What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Phoenix here, and welcome back to a brand new Marvel Spider Man 2 informational video. And I know, based on the title and thumbnails, I know y'all see the thumbnail, but calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Wait, why are you already talking about Marvel Spider Man 3 if we don't even have Marvel Spider Man 2 yet? Now, I'm just saying this could possibly work in Marvel Spider Man 2, and it could possibly end up setting up something along with that. There's a character in Marvel Spider Man 2 that can somewhat come back in Marvel Spider-Man 3 if they wanted to. So before anything, put your pitchforks down, put your bioelectric charges away, put your venom blasts down, and uh, hear me out. Uh, um, anyways, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button down below, hit that subscribe button as well, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this article from Game Rant says, Lowenthal now gets the opportunity to portray Peter from a much different perspective, having him shout angrily at enemies and maintain a low, sinister tone that is distinct while he's wearing the symbiote suit. Seeing Peter go from his cheerful tone to a hateful one will be exciting in-game, especially if events occur that make the newfound hatred much more pronounced and empathetic for the wall crawler. Now, obviously, this is talking about the fact that you know, Yuri put a lot into, you know, making the black suit sound the way that he does while Peter has on the black suit. So it's it's going to be amazing to see that. As you guys know for a fact that in the gameplay reveal trailer, we also got a hint of his old Sasuke voice being bought out. And, you know, he sounds more aggressive. He sounds more sinister, as you guys can see in that whole entire scene at the start where he jumps out of Connors' basement. He just says this. Spider-Man! This whole blizzard hunt ends now. Now, along with that, another story that could possibly end up bringing up is Superior Spider-Man, which is obviously, if y'all don't know who Superior Spider-Man is, it's basically Peter and Doc Ock swap minds. And um, but yeah, Ock ends up becoming Spider-Man, and you know, ends up, you know, pretty much becoming the Superior Spider-Man. He vows that he will become, you know. A better spider-man than peter ever was so yeah but following that it says but because dr octopus has been established so strongly in marvel spider-man another influential comic book run could offer lowenthal a challenge that could eclipse the symbiote's effect on peter and dan slots the superior spider-man auto swaps minds with peter while his body was failing him and left peter to die in his old body now this could potentially work because as we know for a fact that, and I'm sorry if I'm going to bring up Mr. Negative in here, but in the trailer, in the story trailer from Marvel Spider-Man 2, we saw what looked to be the Raptor was under attack and Mr. Negative got out. So if Mr. Negative got out, then there's a chance that Doc Ock probably escaped as well as what I'm guessing because if Mr. Negative's out, then, that would, then I'm going to guess right here, and a lot of people have been guessing this well, that means that Ock got out. And with that, I feel as if potentially... Ock got out of the wrath as well. And with that, he probably went back to the lab and made a neural inhibitor to swap minds with Peter down the line, seeing as that we already know for a fact that in Marvel Spider-Man 2018, he said this. I'll be trapped in this useless body. This clearly means that as soon as he said that, he clearly doesn't want to be in his body anymore. He, he flat out says he doesn't want to be in his body. And that's a sign that his body was failing him meaning that he's trying to look for a better body to survive under his mind because he doesn't want his mind to go along with him. But following that, it says Otto then becomes Spider-Man and consequently parades around as Peter too. This has multiple effects on Peter's loved ones, and it's interesting to see what Otto achieves while impersonating Peter and the Marvel Spider-Man franchise would have a wonderful opportunity to do the same, especially because Otto's body was failing him in Marvel Spider-Man. The brickwork is in place if Insomniac wanted to pursue the superior run. Now, obviously with this, I do feel like, you know, since it's already in effect, it would honestly make sense. Because obviously it would have an effect on Peter's loved ones. It would ultimately make us go straight into a different type of story, along with that if Insomniac wants to go down to that darker field. Following that, it says, Lowenthal gets to be menacing in Marvel Spider-Man 2, but having him essentially play Otto in Peter's body would be another feat entirely. It would be intriguing to see how that could affect Peter's tone, how he talks alone compared to when he's talking to others who he might confide in and how that internal battle could be depicted in game since Peter's consciousness is still swimming between synapses. Now, 
I don't know about you guys, but I would personally love to see that too, considering that Yuri gets to be a lot more menacing and you get to hear that more menacing tone. And with him playing essentially auto imputer's body, that would be a whole entire feat entirely. Because you gotta think about it. Obviously, like I said before, Otto would be inside, Otto's mind would be inside of Peter's body. So Yuri would still be able to voice him. And I feel like that would be interesting to keep like a different tone and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's like to have like a different tone with it. And you could have Peter's mind in Otto's robot or Otto's body or whatever, you know, still alive in the synapses. And, you know, it would be a lot more 100% interesting to see, you know, a different take on it as well. But following that, it says, Seeing Otto challenged by an obligation to be a do-gooder will be fascinating, knowing that he was recently a murderous criminal, and Otto emphasizing with Peter in this way could be a terrific narrative thread for Insomniac to pull on, particularly if he got to bear witness to the fact that he was responsible for the death of Ame and reconcile with that in her nephew's body. There is even more to this arc than Insomniac could draw from if it wanted to. However, Marvel Spider-Man's original continuity still presents a tremendous amount of potential for its own superior spider-man storyline now i 100 do agree with this i feel like they can pull it off based on since i have a feeling that Otto did get out of rikers thanks to whoever broke into the prison at the raft so i do feel like that can happen but let me know what you guys think down in the description below do you think that this is a very good possibility for marvel spider-man 3 and other than that you know, let me know in the comments section below. And it's from your boy Phoenix. And I'll see you guys later on a spectacular, spidey, webtastic banger.